Oh my gosh, hi friends. What are you doing? I got seven people on right now. I'm just getting situated. So listen, I last Friday did, well, okay, this is my kid's mirror. It, got, it has lights all around it. Um, last Friday I did, I was like, I, I hate this. How do I turn this off? There we go. Last Friday, I did a um, little thing, and I said, "This is why I drink." I was, it was, we were leading up into this inauguration, and I was still praying for some miracle that Trump was somehow going to be our president. And since then, I have drinking every day because I was nervous, and then, sure as hell. Biden was inaugurated yesterday, and I can tell you what, I told you I was not gonna give up hope until the very last freaking minute, and I did it. So I sat there, and I watched Lady Gaga sing the national anthem. I didn't see everything. I was at an open house, and um, they had CNN playing. I would have never given them views. I would have never had CNN on playing. I would not give them money. I would not give them, a, uh, you know, help them appeal to advertisers. Nope, not here. But, um, so tonight I didn't label this. This is why I drink, but <laughs> I have real wine here tonight and we're just going to sit here and we're going to pour out our feelings with each other. Because if you're like me, you have a lot of them. <laughs> I have not quit crying and drinking wine because it really just makes me feel better I don't know about y'all but this just makes it, it maybe it's the sign of an alcoholic tonight my choice is this wine we're going to talk about Biden the inauguration and Lady Gaga and all this stupid stuff in a second but this is my drink my mom messaged me and told me about this one of our snooty friends um buys this like really expensive french wine and she discovered this which is nine dollars and she said it's just as good and i said well hell yeah it's just as good nine dollar wine is expensive to me because i like two buck chuck and we better get used to drinking stuff like two buck chuck because well that price is probably going to go up all the prices are going to go up because brian is your president but we better we better put ourselves on a little diet because Biden is your president. What? I just, hold on. I, you know, I was going to talk about the inauguration, but I, I look at all these things that he has signed these executive orders. Like, you know, Trump was a freaking tyrant uh, for signing all those executive orders. They said, they said, and yet Biden signed 17 in his first day of office. 17. Can you imagine what they would have said about Trump if he did that? They're hypocrites. All of them in the people that voted for him on my Facebook page that I finally just blocked. It is. It's like a nice French wine. Anyways, the people that voted for him. I don't even think they realize what they voted for. Do they think it's like, I mean, they, they really, they, they're taking a corporate scam and mistaking it for compassion. These people with a whole bunch of money that run America and the Democratic platform are smart and they play off of these stupid idiots in my Facebook timeline that have Biden-Harris cups and they're celebrating like they've just done something wonderful. Well, let me just tell you what you did. You know the border? You know that thing that we've protected and we built a wall and Trump fought for and we held signs up? <laughs> they are just opening it up. What does it say? Trusting the plan. God is Biden. Yeah, I never trusted the plan. I didn't really understand that stuff. I didn't look into Q, but I am pretty sure whoever was sitting there um, doing that was going, ha, 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 like really, really enjoying the fact that all these people, I mean, it would have been great, but it clearly never happened. Like, oh, thousands of people weren't arrested at the inauguration. I'm not going to lie. I was like listening to this stuff and I was like, I hope, I hope, but really, I mean, sounded good, sounded good. But guess what? None of us, we weren't acting. We were, we were depending on someone else. So, um, the border. The border. We worked so hard to protect that border. Under Trump, illegal crossings went down. ISIS disappeared. He was an incredible president for all. But listen, what did these numbnuts do? What did these numbnuts do? They elected Biden, who now says for 100 days. 100 days. We're going to stop deporting people. 
Like that's a good idea. He damn well knows it's not a good idea. He sees that migrant caravan with a million people coming here to cross our border. And he goes, I'm not going to deport any of you. Just come on in. We call this land of the free. Enjoy. Enjoy. Oh, somebody just got him. Oh, 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 oh. Steph, is that you? Oh, I'm doing a live video. Okay, border. Never mind. I begged my friends to come do this. I begged my aunt to come do this. I told y'all last week I was going to have people come do this with me, and nobody's done this with me. It's like me all alone. McConnell is garbage, worships wall, street money. You did it your way. If only y'all knew what is coming. Okay, so none of our, I was, I was going to see, I kind of lost my train of thought. I thought my friend Steph was here. I was like, hey, we're going to do this thing called This Is Why We Drink, and we're going to talk about everything. And um, nobody showed up tonight. My aunt didn't show up, and um, my friend Steph didn't show up. So I am friends of the, of the friendless, and um, I, I, I drink by myself, and I talk to y'all. So that's fun. Um, what was I saying though? Oh yeah, he knows exactly what he's doing. He opens up the border. He says he's not going to have deportations for a hundred days, for a hundred days while he lets all these people scramble in here. Wonderful. Let's just undo everything Trump did. Y'all, when people walk in here, I just completely lose my train of thought. Um, another, another dumb thing. He cancels the, listen, listen to this. This is, this is how I think this goes. You cancel the Keystone pi pipeline. We lose like 50,000 jobs right off the bat. America and Canada is really thankful for that Biden. Like we are, you know, you all in the name of environmentalism, all in the name of clean, all in the name of, you know, like, you know, your green deal so that we could start wars in other countries that are much dirtier than us and get their oil. That just makes like a whole bunch of sense. But this is what I was thinking. And I saw um, my, my handyman who, um, I have a handyman that, you know, like hangs things for me when I am unable to do so. He was writing on Facebook. He's like, and I was like, this is such a good point. You do that. And guess what? These small businesses that are already struggling to survive because of COVID are going to hire those illegals. Oh, because that $15 minimum wage as well. Guess what they're going to do? They're going to hire illegals that go way. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Jim. Thank you. Y'all, that is so sweet. Jim just donated. That's, you know what? That means a lot to me. Thank you. It keeps me going. It's going to help me record some more music and hopefully spend more time doing this. That means a lot. You're so thoughtful. Um, I have my super chat on, so he was able to give. That's nice. Yes, Jim, it ain't over. Sorry, that was so nice. That made my night. Um, but you raise it, $15, minute, $15 minimum wage. All these small businesses that were already... I should talk on my microphone. All these small, small businesses that were already struggling are getting kicked in the balls now and going to be forced to close, and we're going to depend on Walmart and Target forever. Yay, Biden! Thank you so much for caring about Americans. Nope. Um, forgot what that had to do with the border. Oh, yeah. So all these illegals are going to come in, and small businesses are going to have to do what they can do to survive, and they're probably going to have a whole bunch of illegal workers. And you know what? I don't even blame them. At this point, it's like freaking keep your doors open, whatever you have to do. That's like our way of rebelling. Trying to read your comments. Holler, Mark in Tennessee. I used to live in Nashville. Okay, so this is what I was going to get on here and do. I'm thinking about recording a song, and I've sang it before. I left my guitar at my lake house, so I don't have it. Um, and I wrote this a long time ago, and I can't remember all the words, but I'm going to sing you some of the words right now. And it's called Bullshit at the Border. And I'm just going to kind of sing it in a very bad voice, probably out of key. But you know my heart, right? Uh, we had, like, so many people when we wrote that. I have a dream of a beautiful wall down on the border, 20 feet tall, dead beat Congress ain't worth no lick. We had all these people. We wrote that, like, a couple years ago when we wanted Trump to build the wall. And we had all these people um, from our town. This is one of the things I struggle with. I live in, kind, it's like a conservative town, but there's a lot of liberals here. Um, I don't know what they're doing here. 
what is conservative in the country? And I, did, I try to read these comments. They come so fast. So they thought we were like horrible because we wrote a song saying we want a wall. You know that statue in Biden's um, office of Cesar Chavez? Is that who it is? Like he hated illegal immigration. And he's like saying, oh, oh, I saw this on Tucker tonight. Like, oh, wow, this is who I want to emulate after. Whatever, dude. These guys don't even know who they worship. Just like the people who voted for Biden don't even know who they voted for. The dead people do. They're like up there in heaven ready to smite you for using their names and destroying America. <sighs> you like everybody says, my grandma was a Republican until she died and voted Democrat. But, um, yeah, what was I saying? My song. So all these people who don't know what they voted for and then Biden has a statue of somebody who doesn't even know what they stand for and he's not going to deport anybody for 100 days and let them all over and he's got a statue of a guy who hated illegal immigration. That is the stupidity in the freaking White House. So all these people that I was talking about and did this and that, they thought we were horrible for wanting a wall. They called us racist. I was like, mm, no. It has no, nothing to do with your color. If you were all, what, you know, purple, pink, rainbow colored, blue, black, red, nobody gives a shit. We just want you to come here legally. So um, we got called really bad names. Uh, the girls from my Bible study wouldn't let me come back to my Bible study. And actually, I didn't even realize it. I was, uh, I saw them at school and I walked up to like my Bible study leader's daughter and I'm like, or not daughter, son, little baby, little baby. It's a cute baby. And I tickled its toes. And she, I swear to God, she looked at me like she thought the devil came up and tickled her baby's toes. And I was like, that was weird. That was weird. Like, I'm just nice to everybody. I don't care what you think or what who you vote for or whatever. I really don't. Like, I believe that that's what conservatives do. And um, she, like, they, they all, it's like they formed like a group that would turn around when I walked. And I was like, I don't think I should go to Bible study anymore. I feel like, I feel like these girls don't like me. They were the ones celebrating. If you were at the beginning of this, they were the ones celebrating at the beginning. I mean, today on the internet with like, or it was yesterday watching the inauguration. The inauguration. The biggest church. They had American flags flying like as if they cared about the American flag and they haven't for the past four years and they also haven't stood for the anthem. I was, I said on Twitter, I can't believe they're not singing Imagine. I thought, I thought the national anthem and flags were horrible and there they all are standing like all of a sudden their four years was freaking erased. And what, what was it, Antifa burning everything down yesterday and the news doesn't even say anything. It's just, I mean, is order like, it's just no more drama anymore. Like it's just the world back to normal because Biden, who doesn't even know he's in office, is in office. <sighs> Y'all, I exhaust me. So wait, what was I saying? Somebody tell me what I was saying. I was talking about the voters. Oh, they back to my story. I don't know if y'all ever know this about me. I just get off on a tangent. I never remember what I'm saying. So this is what I'm saying. This is why I drink, and this is what I'm saying. So these girls hated me. So I was like, well, I'm sorry that you didn't like my song, Border Wall. I have a dream of a beautiful wall. I'll write another one, and I'll clarify my stance on immigration. Which just doesn't really clarify my stance on immigration. I was just feeling goofy one day, and I wrote this. But I thought it was a nicer stance. So these girls would under, they'd be like, oh, oh. So I'm thinking about recording this now. I didn't think we were going to have another caravan because I thought Trump was going to be our president. We were going to have secure borders. But now apparently Biden is president of the world and America doesn't matter anymore. So come on, people. Come on. This is your playground and we will provide because our businesses haven't been just like pounded to the ground, but there's plenty of room for y'all and we will also provide health care and everything for your family, right? So, <clears throat> No. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. So, here we go. Um, so it goes. Bring your... <laughs> I told you I was going to be off key. Bring your hungry. Bring your weary. Bring your sick. And bring your poor. But leave your bullshit at the border. Or don't come back no more. Actually, I just want those people to turn around. Um, 
We don't need your criminals, politics and crime. We've already got our liberals. Shoot, shoot, I can't remember the words. We've already got our liberals. Dun, 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 dun. So, but bring your curry, bring ceviche, Chinese food, and Pokemon. Bring your iPhones and your tech skills, 50 cousins and your mom. But leave your bullshit at the border or don't come back no more. Um, sorry, I told you I don't really remember this song. Why would you flee communist? Or why would you flee communist? Oh yeah, flee communist, that makes sense. And bring them to our shores. We've all read, oh, that's the words. We've already got our liberals. We don't need any more. I swear this is a good song. When I have a guitar and I remember it, it's amazing. But bring your... I can't remember it. It's a good song. So should I record it? How are y'all liking that? <laughs> <laughs> Jojo loves it. Jojo, the Aussie. Are you from Australia? Hey, Maurice. Hey, I saw you at one of the rallies in person. I, where did I see you? Did I see you at like the second rally? I can't remember. I walked up to you. I don't even know if you noticed, um, but I walked up to you and I was like, hey, you know me from YouTube? Uh, I don't know if you remember that. Um, yes, record it. Make sure you have a guitar. I will have Mo is in the house. That's right. Um, I'll have a guitar. I'll sing it. I'm going to start writing more songs. I've been writing songs. I wrote another song and I recorded it with Joy Villa and then this girl named Demi who is like so cute and fun. And it's like the best song. It's called Better Together. It's like a dance song and it's like we're supposed to dance. Like we have a dance. Like we're better. We're better when we're dancing together. And we were supposed to put that song out when, um, with, like right for the election, like telling, we were telling like all these different communities that thought, you know, Trump was so horrible. It's like, hey, listen, like America's better when like, I don't know, it, it was great. And there was a rap part in there that Demi did and it was amazing. And like, we were trying to get like these like teenagers from TikTok cause like <laughs> they, they like to watch me on TikTok for some reason, they make fun of me. We we're trying to say like, hey, Trump is for all Americans. Like, you could be black, white, Hispanic, um, gay, straight. It doesn't matter. Trump is for you. He is your president. And you should vote for him. So we wrote this song for that. And it was a dance song. It was really fun. And we never put it out there. Because Joy, if I hope somebody tells her this, if you know Joy Villa, you could blow her up and say, I want to hear um, Better Together. She took all the video footage. And never made a video. So then we thought Trump was going to win. So we were going to put the song out then. Like, hey, we're better together. Like, we'll show you lefties, like, what real unity looks like. Because all they do is preach about unity. And then Trump didn't win. And so now I'm like, well, maybe I'll put the song out anyways. Because I don't like wasting money in recording a song for you know six hundred dollars and then a video um so i want to put it out there anyways and now i'm saying well oh somebody's somebody's texting me about youtube right now i'm gonna do this regardless if youtube is suppressing me i just got a text message about youtube suppressing conservative videos which is not surprising at all um but I'm going to continue doing live because there's they totally took down my Facebook page. It's still up, but, like, I don't have any reach on there anymore. I did. I think I'll get it back, but I'm not sure. Um, I think I have another 90-day ban, which I've had before. But I don't know. But this time around might be different. Like, I don't know if they'll just keep the suppression on me just because they're assholes. But anyways, y'all, if you know Joy Villa, go up to her Instagram or her Twitter and say, Hey, Let's put that video together better together because now I think the meaning still works, but I want to tell the conservatives to unite and stay strong together. Like we're better together because right now there's a lot of fighting. Like people are all fighting each other. It's like um, the, the conservative movement, like, ah, it's, it's horrible. And I'm going, gosh, we've got so much ammunition, like going into like, you know, power behind us. Not, but, um, 
I'm like, we have so much power going into the midterms. We just have to unite. Like, we have to unite. So I'm thinking that's going to be the angle the song takes. And I think me and Demi might record more music video this weekend. And then um, and then uh, use some of the footage that Joy gave us or that we, Joy filmed. But, um, yeah, Slow Joe is not my president. He won't be for long. <laughs> Anyways, that song's called Better Together. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do this stuff. I mean, it kind of stinks when everything is like, um, I didn't see that. I didn't see that. Um, there's a I, I couldn't even read the comment because once again it went so far fast. But yeah, I didn't see that uh, protest in New York tonight. So I'm gonna have to go look that up when we get off. But um, next week on this is why I drink. I am going to have another bottle of wine. So this one was, just in case you missed the beginning, this is the wine of choice tonight. Love, how do you speak French? Because I don't know. Mise in bonne dans de par. I can't read. <laughs> Anyways, um, oh, I should do another. I see that. Maybe I will. Um, this is the wine I'm drinking. And... Um, you should all go get it. And next week, I'll have a different wine. Or maybe I'll have tequila. I'm not really quite sure. So, love you all. Have a great night. Jim, thank you for donating $50. That will go towards my next song, Border Bullshit. Or maybe um, $9 bottle of... Oh, yeah, this is $9. So, I forgot to tell you. This is $9. And it tastes just like a really expensive French wine. But it's $9. So you're welcome, okay? You go get yourself a bottle of this, and we'll all drink it together next week. All right. I love you all. Bye. Um, another, one more thing before I go. Everybody has said to me, what do we do? What do we as conservatives do? What, what's our next step, y'all? Like a thief in the night. We wait. Don't do anything. Don't do anything. There's a saying, if you give someone enough rope, you know what happens next, right? Let him do it. Joe Biden, I saw a meme today. It says, I'm just here, it's Joe Biden, to show you what a good president President Trump is. Oh, wait, was, was, is. <sighs> Anyways, you get the picture. Don't do anything. Just let them look like fools. And when they let over a million people and they come across Texas and Arizona and New Mexico and everything, guess what? All those people that voted for him, and then they defund the police, and then their neighborhoods aren't safe. All these white suburban women who thought they were so cool for voting for Joe are going to go, ooh, all of a sudden I'm not as safe anymore. Ooh, maybe I should reconsider this. Ooh. You know how that works. The pendulum always swings back in Trump 2024. That's what I'm hoping. I don't know if it'll be him, if it's not him. Flynn 2024. If General Flynn is listening, I would be the biggest supporter if you ran. Anybody else before I go for General Flynn 2024? Come on, tell me. Wow, Neil. <laughs> Trump Jr. 2024. Okay. Flint, not Flint, Flynn. Okay. All right. I feel like, I don't know if, I feel like Neil doesn't know. Anyways. Um, uh, yes. Shonda likes Flynn. And I got some, some people on here that love Biden. Okay, guys, y'all are crazy. But guess what? We will be here with open arms to say, we told you so. Bye.